Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I will be making slightly unusual video. Today video triggered by an article in Guardian written by Ron Atkinson and it's titled I love electric cars, I was an early adopter but I feel duped. And followed this article, I kind of thought about making a video about this but I never got around doing it. But then I stumbled upon a video on YouTube by a guy called Jeff Buys Cars. And Jeff was ranting and raving about how great this article was and quoting various facts. Basically that really triggered me to make a video and correct a number of facts that were completely wrong. The article has now been amended but it was stated there that iron lithium batteries use rare earth elements. This is completely wrong. There are no rare earth elements in iron lithium batteries at all. On the periodic table, rare earth elements are those outlined in red. They are not actually all that particularly rare either. With neodymium being about two thirds as abundant as copper. On this graph you can see the content of various metals and materials in lithium ion battery. So as you can see, by weight the highest percentage would be graphite, aluminium, nickel, etc. However, the cobalt content is very, very small. It's about 4.3%. Tesla battery now has zero cobalt content. They mainly use nickel, manganese, copper based batteries. And also the lot of momentum gaining lithium ion phosphate batteries. So it's LFP, lithium ion phosphate. No cobalt, no nickel, nothing at all. In the article, Ron Atkinson citing a report by Volvo saying that electric car are nearly 70% higher emissions than a petrol car. This is actually fundamentally wrong and it was proven that this report was not presenting the right figures. It was found that first the report used fuel consumption figures based on WLTP test but these are well known to underestimate real-world figures by a wide margin. The report failed to account for upstream emissions in the production of petrol, so they completely forgot about how much energy it takes to produce the petrol. And the report failed to account for the fact that electricity in the UK, as most of the countries around the world, in Europe and America, will become cleaner over the lifetime of a car bought today. Also, there appears to be anomalies in the CO2 footprint associated with the manufacture of the rest of the car, excluding the drivetrain. As alternative to battery electric vehicle, Atkinson is citing a hydrogen as an interesting alternative fuel to replace petrol or diesel. However, there is a reason why Toyota started developing hydrogen vehicles in 1992 and we still do not see that many of them on the roads. It is estimated there are only about 72,000 hydrogen fuel cell powered vehicles on the planet. While only this year it's expected that the 14 million EVs will be sold. Rowan Atkinson is suggesting that for trucks the hydrogen is the only option. He's suggesting that due to the battery weight the electric battery vehicles are not an option for trucks. However, manufacturers sold about 60,000 electric trucks last year and now have 220 heavy-duty vehicle models on the market. European electric truck sales grew fourfold in the first quarter of this year alone, according to Volvo. Figures from NGO Transport and Environment show that EVs can be driven two to five times further on the same energy as would be needed if using hydrogen or synthetic fuels. This thermodynamic advantage inevitably makes these alternatives much more costly to run than AV. A few of Atkinson's other claims worth mentioning. He says AV batteries only last about 10 years. Yet most modern lithium-ion units are likely to last the lifetime of a car. Tesla batteries are designed to outlast the vehicle. He complains that new cars are only kept for 3 years and been sold. Yet he does not reference the second-hand market and the fact that British people are keeping their cars for longer than ever. In conclusion, Ron Atkinson says that people should hold fire on EVs. However, the alternatives he talks about are really not widely available. No one can get hydrogen fuel car as easily and be able to fuel it as cheaply as charging electric car. At the same time, synthetic fuel development is not progressed that much. In the end, I have to say that I agree with some of his statements that cars treated as a fast fashion and been replaced every three years. 
I think this is wrong and I think people should keep cars for longer. But at the same time, I have to say that I can't ignore the real facts that I cited in this video. They cannot be ignored and electric cars are much more efficient and really the way forward for the future. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your opinion on this matter and whether you agree with Ron Atkinson or myself. If you'd like to find out my opinion why hydrogen is not the way forward, have a look at the video over here.